boom, 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 boom. Hey guys, today we're gonna explore some parks around Michigan. In this video, you're gonna see a few that we've went to over the past few weeks, and it's been pretty fun. I think what's fun about looking at different parks and stuff is that you can find some sort of hidden treasures around every place, and also things that are pretty interesting, whether you like water, or you like the woods, or you like, I don't know, equipment, play equipment, whatever you like. Parks have pretty much everything. So we're just gonna go take an adventure around Michigan and see what we can find. And you guys are coming along too. This should be fun. Depends how long it is, but. <laughs> Wait, we're here? We're here. The first spot on the list is the DeQuinder Cut. It's about a two mile greenway, which was formerly a Grand Trunk Western Railroad line. How is it? As you walk through, you'll find a bike lane accompanied by a walking path with colorful graffiti on old bridge abutments. Abutment. Weird word. Anyways, if you enjoy city strolling, this is the place to go. It starts at the Detroit River and ends at Mac Avenue. My Avenue. Ha ha ha. Oh, so I got this exercise equipment along the way. The next spot on the list is one someone would probably take the kiddos, but for me, being 5'4", I could fit about anywhere. We're at the Warren Gateway on John Lewis Greenway. It's a huge place gift for anyone with a playful spirit, and who's a bit short. I'll go on this side. Huh? This, this slide is on this side. Oh. I don't know if you can fit it up. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is supposed to be for children. Dang, the kids gonna go past that? Or this? Dude, what kid's gonna? This is so crazy. I'm like laughing my head off. If we die, this is the last video you'll see. No. <laughs> There was construction Why? sign. Who are you with? <laughs> oh, I know. Are you ready? Yeah, you want to take it with you? I might actually do that because I'm kind of like, damn, that's long. You guys might think we're being over dramatic right now, but I'm incredibly we're terrified of heights. World. Enough of the city, let's head to some nature spots. The next place we ventured to was Dodge to number four state park in Waterford Township. I must say we went during the off season and we were freezing our butts off. Yeah, it always does. No, so. Oh, I can finally talk again. I can really talk when I have a good shout. They always say never listen to shouting. Could be a. Yeah, I didn't hear you. <laughs> oh, the waves are going. Here on the side doesn't move so much, so it freezes. Definitely a walk path. There's a bench right there. They lied to me. Where's my telescope? 
<laughs> you saw like a mythical meat eating creature just running on the path where we came from, sniffing the ground. Run. <laughs> Dad, let him run. <laughs> You didn't want to pet it. And needless to say, it was a nice short nature walk, and I'm sure this place will be a really good picnic spot in the summer. A bit outside of Van Arbor, you'll find the Bird Hills Nature Area. It's another short hike spot, but there are a few path splits that make it feel like a longer trek than it is. It's not too crazy in the summer. Yeah, it must be really green. Converted. Come on, I'm going to do it. Tree snapping up there. Whoa. What type of moss? Maybe it's like really long star moss. Star moss. <laughs> it's star moss. It's star moss. Common hair moss. Oh, hair moss. Okay, I didn't know it's really different. Add uh, this one, fern. I think this one is not fern. A fern moss. Oh, what it is? is delicate fern moss? Oh. A type of fern moss. You're so right. <laughs> It's a nice and calming path, and if you're in for just a short little walk, I think this is the place to go.